Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today we're reviewing the Bougie RV MPPT 40 amp charge controller, as well as the Bougie RV SIGS 200 watt solar panel. So let's just get right into it. Here we just have an easy, basic 12 volt setup. If you're interested in how to set up 12 volt or building your van, anything you know about building the vans, checking out the Van Kooks Van Conversion Masterclass, walking you through step-by-step step how to build your van conversion. Let's just get straight into this. So we're gonna be reviewing this Bougie RV uh, 40 amp solar charge controller. This is a about $150 unit, uh, pretty nice looking unit just out of the box. It does look nice and shiny. Um, it is a little bit heavier than others. And another weird thing I notice about this unit is that a lot of charge controllers, they have the three inputs on the unit. So looking at this uh, Tracer EP Ever, we have uh, PV solar, battery, and then our load. So our fuse panel, or whatever we're powering with our charge controller. The Bougie RV unit only has the PV. So input and output, input into our PV and then the output just goes to the battery. So that's all they provided us here with this charge controller. So a little bit different than most charge controllers. And that's something I already think that's a little bit um, limiting about the unit. We're able to monitor our system better when our load is hooked up to our charge controller through the monitoring, we can monitor what's happening in real time. So without that, it's a little bit more difficult to monitor. One thing they did do though is it has a Bluetooth um, app. It's included. Uh, brands like Renogy make you pay for the Bluetooth module. So this is already included in it. It has a decent little app. We'll go through the interface and then we'll just go through kind of what the app looks like and just seeing how well the SIG solar panel performs here. So it's a sunny day. It's a great day to test this unit. So first off, I have my unit all set up. I'm just going to drain my battery down a bit because it is fully charged. And I'll just kick on this heat gun and let the battery drain for a bit. And I can monitor the state of charge on the battery through the app. And I'll just show you this as I run the heat gun here. So here's the interface to the app. You can see it's not the most realistic uh, what's happening with the battery as I'm running this heat gun at probably about 900 watts. Uh, it shows our current, our highest voltage, our lowest voltage, charge amount, and uh, discharge amount, and then max charge power. So we haven't plugged in yet. We haven't hooked the solar panel up yet. So I'm assuming all that will change. It also has our solar input and our charging mode. And we can change all this here so we can just kind of see going into settings what we have here. Got lithium, 12 volts, all of our parameters here. That all looks pretty good. Historical data, we haven't had this set up. So, but that's kind of cool. It does go through and let you know historical data, what you're at. So here we have some data because I've had it hooked up for a few days just here in the garage. And then we can go into this real-time monitoring. So I'm just gonna let the battery discharge a little bit. I think I'm more excited about the uh, SIG solar panel than I am about the actual charge controller. All right, so I ran the heat gun for a while. I dropped it down 83%. I could be here for quite a while just running this heat gun. You know, some people use Mr. Buddy heaters to keep their vans keep warm in the van. I just like to use my heat gun, heating myself up. But I'm just gonna run it a little longer and then we're gonna just go outside. I got the solar panels hooked up and then we're gonna check the SIG solar panel, see how it stacks up. Uh, it's a pretty impressive little panel, so I'm excited to show you kooks this thing. All right, so I dropped the power down. Like I said, I don't wanna really be here all day running this heat gun. We're at about 80%. So we're just gonna go outside, test the panel. So I do wanna point out, I have these Bougie RV. Uh, I really like these. Bougie RV actually makes pretty nice stuff. I think people think it might be a knockoff cheap brand, but I use a lot of their stuff. It's really good stuff. So I have their solar cables. 
Um, these things are great. They're super durable, super well made, thick cables that definitely, I drag these outside, I drag them all around the dirt and the grime. So they've lasted me a good amount of time. I also have one of their 30 amp fuses for the solar connection here. Just an inline fuse on the solar, kind of a nice little thing to add on to your panels. And I'm just gonna hook these up and then I'm gonna run this out to the SIGS panel and then we're gonna see how much power we get off this panel. So off the panel, I have it hooked up. I'll show it to you out here. So we're getting about 10 amps, which is pretty good for that 200 watt panel, about 135 watts. I'll show you the screen here. You can kind of see the real time monitoring that comes with this charge controller. So 10 amps, 135 watts. And we're charging and just seeing here. So max charge power thus far has been 136 watts. And just looking at the historical data, so seeing here, um, I've had it hooked up in the garage for quite some time there. You can see it instantly shot up. I might go adjust it as well. So we're still pulling about 10.81 amps, which is pretty good for that panel. 10.85, 138 so far. I'm gonna go reposition it and see if I can get a little more sun here. I repositioned it and you can see now I'm getting a couple more watts, more amps, 11.81 amps, 145 watts. So it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can give it a little more repositioning and see if that helps. So a few more adjustments. Uh, I'm getting a little more, 152 watts on my max. I'm getting 12.25 amps. So pretty impressive little unit. I'm gonna go outside and kind of show you the setup and then just talk about the panel and just a few limitations I found on the panel. But otherwise, I love that panel. It's so durable. And we'll just go outside now and check it out. So here is the panel. This is the Bougie RV SIGS panel. You can see it's quite large, but it does roll up and get much smaller. Um, a few things I really like about this panel is super durable. So. I'll show a video here of my buddy Dave. He walks on it, runs it over. Um, you can see here though, just incredibly durable panel. Compared to below, if I did that to this panel, it'd probably break and crack and not work. So it's flexible. I just like to roll it up and keep it on my roof. What I use this panel for a lot is just a modular solar panel to use with my system so I can combine and get more watts out of my array with an additional MPPT charge controller. I'll link the video here for that. I'm just checking that out. So this is the SIGS panel, 200 watts, Bougie RV, great panel. Now let's just go back in the garage and go through this charge controller. Actually, before we uh, end the video, let's swap panels and let's compare the ratings from the SIGS panel to my other modular panel I use, my Mango Solar Power panel. And let's just go check that out and then we'll wrap the video out up. So I got the other panel running. I'm still just running the heat gun so I can keep the, the wattage up because if it gets too high, it'll uh, limit my charging. So I wanna be able to charge at my highest available power. So I'm getting 138 watts, about 11.28 amps off this mango solar panel i'm going to go adjust it and see if i can get any more the bougie rv was getting a little bit more so i think i think i topped out today with that other panel at about 152. so seeing if i can adjust it see if i can get any more here so i definitely was getting more power from the sigs panel that was the highest i could get it that 140 watts so about 12 13 more watts off the panel similar amperage so not too big of a difference between the two panels. So there is a few things. I'll cut the heat gun off so we can talk and hear me better. So here is the Mango Solar Unit. This is the other 200 watt solar panel that I have. I use this for modular. Sometimes I wire the both of them up in parallel and get them to help charge my van. So checking that video out for my modular panel setup. And then it, the nice thing is it has these legs and then it folds up into a small little bag. I'll show you the bag here. It all folds up, fits in the bag. So it's just as portable as the other panel. Only thing is 
Um, I really like this panel. I, I like both of them. This one has the legs, so it's great. Uh, the only thing is it's like 25 times heavier than the SIGS panel. So this is Mango Solar 200 watt modular panel. So one thing I do find also a little bit annoying about the app is every time you get into the app, if you've had to get closed down, you have to actually go back in and connect every time. So kind of annoying, not a deal breaker, but having to get in every time and connecting back to the app is definitely something just to notice that we will have to deal with here. So the main difference between the mango panel is it's kind of a traditional silicon um, panel with the uh, just a traditional setup. And then this SIGS panel is actually a whole different type of technology. It's uh, I'll put it here in the description as I I'll just put it on the screen as I can't remember this and you can see why. But yeah, completely different construction, completely different technology, really flexible. Um, so there's two options when you can get this panel. You can get it with the already uh, adhesive back on. When I got it, they didn't have the option of just the grommets. And I wish I had just had the grommets because the adhesive, I tried to peel it off here. So ignoring that, that was me trying to pull it off. So the adhesive kind of gets gooey and sticky and sticks to all the stuff. I just got goo on my other solar panel. And the only thing I wish this had was some way to kind of stand it up. It is so flimsy. It can just be difficult to stand up because I use it modularly, just setting it up at campsites. I just lay it on the ground and it just rolls up like a sleeping bag. I literally just roll it up to store it. So just rolling it all the way up you can see how flexible it is just rolling it up and then i just use some bungee cords tied up and i just put it away and it can even roll tighter than this rolling it all the way up so pretty cool pretty impressive unit they say it can last 25 years i don't ever imagine i'd get 25 years out of that mango solar unit but yeah i just wish it had legs and i wish it was a little bit it's more um a little bit better for modular use. Like I said, now they make them with the grommets. That would work nice because I could almost drape it off my van. But a super solid panel. If you're not wanting to install a roof rack and you're just wanting to slap a panel on your roof, I would definitely go with something like this. You can see pretty efficient, does a really good job and just hella durable. Like probably the most durable solar panel I've ever, flexible panel I've ever dealt with. If I did that to the other one, the silicon one, it would probably crack and break. So we'll just go through this unit and then we'll just wrap this video up. So here's the actual bougie RV unit just right off the front. It's got a little touch display here. So 13.3 volts, 100% charge, 25 degrees. It has a battery temperature sensor you can plug in as well as additional space for a monitor under here. So you can add monitoring here. You can add some monitoring and a temperature sensor. And then just has a nice look. And then it has your fault codes here. So no errors. We did everything right today, guys. Let's give ourselves a pat on the back. So there's just kind of the unit up close, what it looks like. And then, like I said, it just has the two, the input for the solar and then the output for the battery there. So a little limiting. And then also it has these zinc screws, it looks like. So you gotta be careful putting the screws in there, making sure you don't strip anything out. I prefer the ones that have the terminal bolts on, but the only ones I've seen like that are the Renogy DC to DC MPPT. Most are gonna be like this. So being careful when you screw those in. Well, that's a wrap, you kooks, on our review for the MPPT solar charge controller from Bougie RV. Coming in at 150 bucks, pretty solid deal, pretty legit unit with the free uh, Bluetooth monitoring system. And we went over some things we like, some things we don't like, and just making the decision that works best for you. But today, I think the, my most favorite thing out of all of these is this solar panel, this SIGS panel. Uh, so if you have a van, you don't want to build a roof rack, slapping a SIG solar panel on, super durable, long lasting. You know, it's, I think it's, they claim on the website 25 years. So 
It is a little more pricier, but it is pretty efficient and so lightweight and just so easy to install. So checking out the SIGS panel, checking out Bougie RV. Also, they make nice other solar components like cords and cables and fuses and all kinds of things. So not overlooking these guys. They got great price points. I've used their stuff for years. I have a Bougie RV rooftop carrier that I've had in my van for almost four years now. So I think they make quality stuff. I think they're definitely worth checking out. So checking out all the links in the description and always like and subscribe kooks. Thanks for coming along on this journey. And if you're trying to build your own van out, check out the Van Kooks Van Conversion Masterclass in the link below. Signing up early, it's almost there. Get you a discount on the finished product. Uh, it's gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to build your own van, how to wire your own system, how to build cabinets, how to put your floors in, all that stuff. We've made this entire masterclass. It's taken us months to put together. So checking that out when it comes out. And we appreciate all you kooks for watching, all the kooks in the Van Kooks family. See you guys out on the road. Summer's coming up. So we're excited. And we'll see you in the next video.